This is Dr. James Salap from the University of Colorado School of Dental Medicine on the fabrication of an occlusal index for a temporary and as an index to verify adequate occlusal reduction. Materials needed include laboratory putty with a basin catalyst, measuring spoon, tongue blade, and a Bard Parker. In this exercise, you will be fabricating two occlusal indexes, one for making temporaries and a second to verify the adequate occlusal reduction. Fill the base putty to one half the volume of the spoon. The swirls of pink and blue is an example of incorrect mixed putty, which will be unstable and inaccurate. Mix a basin catalyst in place over one half of 28 through 31, and extend gingerly to cover the gingival shroud. Make sure the walls are flat by using a tongue blade. Set the temporary stent aside. For the occlusal index, suction the stent buccal lingually in the center of tooth number 30. This is an example of an occlusal index showing inadequate reduction on multiple surfaces. This is Dr. James DeLapp discussing an occlusal index as a matrix to form a temporary and as an index to establish appropriate occlusal reduction.